Hey everyone, it's Diana Ruth. I have another OCC unboxing for you. Today this one is for a boy 2-4 to four, and it's a train theme. And this is one of my favorite boy 2-4 to four boxes that I have done this year. So first off, he has his uh, school pouch. And while I'm showing you what's in his school pouch, I want to just randomly say <laughs> I really try not to get my baseboards in the camera because I know they look really bad. And I just want to let you know the reason why they look like that. Uh, I have two bunnies that love to chew on my baseboards. And we have tried painter's tape and masking tape and they always rip through it and get to my baseboards. So. I try not to get them in the videos, but sometimes I just can't help it. So that's why my baseboards look like that. It's because of my bunnies. Um, okay, so back to the unboxing. He has a lot of pencils and colored pencils, and uh, I was able to give him three pipsqueak markers. And then he has an 80 page sketch pad. a comb, um, a little sack here, and inside he has a pair of socks, a pair of size 2 Thomas the Train underwear. I do find that those size 2 are very stretchy though. And then he also has a pair of size 4. And then I was able to tightly squeeze in a pair of jeans. I found these uh, in the summertime. And they were on a clearance rack for $2.99 at a Carter store. And I did cut that little piece of yarn off. I had to film this way because my family was home, so I just figured I could do a voiceover. Um, sometimes I have to film it like that. So he had a ball and his cup with a heart on the bottom. Now these little Thomas the Train minis I found at my Superstore about a month ago and they were in a little blind bag and they were marked to 22 cents. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I know it's a train theme, but I wanted to still give him a little matchbox car. And then back in March, I found these at uh, my heart store and I remembered to keep the tag on. So they were $12.99 and they were marked down to $5. And he has a little friend waiting for him in his shoe. I also bought a pair of these shoes for my son, except his are red instead of gray. And he has worn them to the playground and he loves these shoes. So I know that uh, they're good shoes. He has a nice size Friskers pencil sharpener. A Thomas the Train toothbrush. I believe there's two in there. And then another thing that I found back in March, I found some rainbow colored uh, shoestrings at my Dollarama. So I thought he could change them out when his other shoestrings um, are worn out and I think they'll really pop against the gray. And that's his other toothbrush. So that's what was in his little shoes. He has a tote bag, and I just get these from Giant Tiger. I was so excited to find this wooden magnetic train at my Walmart. I think it was back in April or May. It's very nice quality, and it was $5.97. I think that's a great price for such a great quality train. And I already tested it out. His little train can fit inside of that cloth bag. I've never, I don't think I've ever packed a spoon before in a shoebox, so I had it on hand though. And then my son, um, he got one of these for his birthday and it makes a really pleasant train whistle sound, so I bought one for him as well. Now this takes up a lot of room in his bin, but it's one of my favorite things and it's probably my favorite book I've ever packed. It is such nice quality, and it's just a story of a little train traveling through the world, and I like that there's a wintry scene, and then he goes to the zoo, and that little red button, if he pushes it, it makes a realistic train sound. And this was $9.99, but
but I found it at my Dollarama for $4. And then he has a book of construction paper. There's quite a bit of paper in there. And I just punched holes and tied some cotton string together. And then he has to um, have some stickers. So he has these transportation ones and there's a little train there. And then he also has his bandana. So I really hope he likes that uh, train book. It's very nice quality. And then the last thing, he has this Fendi folder that I get from Walmart. And I made him a little train play mat and I just put them inside of a protector sheet so he can take his little trains or even his car and play with them with his mat. And then there's the other one and I had to represent with the Toronto sticker. And then I gave him some printables um, that had a train on a track so that he could make the connection, hopefully, that he can use his little train mat to play with his trains. And I just get all of my printables from Pinterest. And then he has a little zebra to go with his zebra friend. A really cute number chart. And once again, he can use the back of these pages to practice his drawing or color. A little train maze. And then this is my favorite of his print offs. <laughs> I love what this says. And there's a little conductor guy waving at him. And that is my shoebox for a boy two to four. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know what your favorite thing was in his shoe box. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.